Today, I'm going to interview a responsible person who worked hard for sick and poor people in Africa. Please welcome Albert Schweitzer. Thank you for inviting me to this interview. Dr. Schweitzer, you really have a strong sense of responsibility to care for other people. What are your other character traits? I never give up, which means I'm a stubborn. I don't easily change the decisions I make. I always care about other human beings. I am also fair because I think that people always have to help and care for other people who is not living in such good conditions. I believe that all people should take that responsibility. I call this responsibility your second job. Was there any big event when you were young that made you change your mind or was a big part of your life? What was that event? When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. They didn't want to play with me. I wondered why. One day, my friend called me. He asked me if I can play wrestling with him. He was strong and tall. Everybody thought that I would lose. However, I tripped him over. I won the game and all of a sudden, my friend said that it's because I lived better than him. He said he could win if he also ate well like me. I realized the reason why my friends didn't like playing with me. I noticed that only I was wearing good clothes and leather shoes. After that happened, I wore the same types of clothing as other kids. I wore old clothes and old shoes. My father didn't understand me, but my mother did. We know that you have a lot of different jobs. What kind of jobs do you have? I am a musician, doctor, builder, minister, and a philosopher. When I was young, I was very talented and interested in piano and organ. In fact, many people would not recognize me as a builder, right? When I make a hospital in Africa, the workers work so lazily, so I myself started building the hospital. After I started working, the workers also sped up. That's why I'm also a builder. Wow, you do have a lot of jobs. You have sometimes faced some challenges while you were taking an action, didn't you? What kind of challenges did you face? How did you overcome the challenge? After I completed my training as a doctor, I was turned down by the Paris Missionary Society. They thought I wouldn't be a big help because of my religion. They thought I might have different ideas with them. However, I couldn't give up. Instead, I gave up all my academic positions to raise funds. My wife helped me a lot with it. I went back to the society with all the money I raised. This time, they received me. What pushed you to take such a big risk to go to Africa and help the African people? One day, I read an article saying that there was an urgent need in Africa. I couldn't just ignore it. To go to Africa and help the sick people, I needed to be a doctor. As soon as I read the article, I immediately completed my training as a doctor. When you went to Africa, what was unfamiliar there? What was the hardest part in new place? In Africa, it felt like a completely different land compared to my hometown in Germany. My wife and I thought this place was so beautiful that had a lot of flowers, trees, and tropical plants. Well, the happiness didn't last so long. We realized that people's environment and situations were worse than we thought. We quickly started our work. So many sick people visited me as soon as I came. I thought we needed an indoor hospital to work. So we began to work inside the chicken coop and call it a hospital. It was much better than just working on the outside floor. You took a big action for Africans. What impact do you have on others? I made a hospital in Africa to help people who are sick. I saved a lot of African people that were almost dying. I also taught people about caring and taking risks for other people. What was happening in Africa? Tell us about the political and social environment in Africa. Africans believed in superstitions and there were a lot of diseases passing on. It was after World War I, so the Africans had a lot of sick people and they didn't have proper medical care. Foreigners gave Africans a lot of things that could make them unhealthy. They taught the Africans about alcohol and nicotine. A lot of them were easily overdosed. Foreigners didn't care at all. I felt very embarrassed as a white person. You received a Nobel Peace Prize in 1953 for saving a lot of people. How did you use that huge amount of money? 
I was so honored that I received this award. I used most of the money to help other poor people and building a separate hospital for lepers. I really learned a lot about you through this interview. You are truly a mover and shaker, Dr. Schweitzer.